welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the differences and we're going to show you as well the differences between a semi-automatic AR-15 and then a full auto AR-15 or M16. So this obviously is going to be a semi-automatic so what that means is every time I pull the trigger it discharges one round as you will see. Now we'll grab that full auto one and show you what that looks like. Before firing this full auto AR-15, I want to point out that you do need to make sure that you have the proper licensing in America if you are going to do the conversion. With that said, let's send a few rounds down range. One thing that's different right off the bat is going to be the safety. So this is going to be fire and on a full auto, it will go one more position back to auto. As you can see there, one pull of the trigger discharges as many rounds are in the magazine until you let off. So on the right here, we have a semi-automatic AR-15 and then on the right, a left rather, we have our full auto. So there's a few differences as you can see. Um, semi-auto, typically you'll have this portion of the receiver kind of blocked off, added material to prevent you from adding a full auto sear, which is this part right here. With the full auto blower, obviously it's all milled out to allow that sear to operate freely as the gun is firing. Additionally, there's a little pocket back here on this little receiver, um, again, added material to prevent you from adding the sear and disconnector that you need for a full auto uh, firing group. So it's just milled out differently, and then the actual components are slightly different as well as I will show you here in just a second. Whenever you're uh, letting your hammer go on an AR-15, you don't want it to slam into the receiver. Uh, it can damage it over time as your hammer is steel and your receiver is aluminum. So here on the full auto, we have this additional portion on the tail of the hammer. And then over here on semi-automatic version, you can see we don't have that. And that's just going to prevent the lockup of the hammer into the sear here. And obviously we don't need it on the semi-auto because we don't have that full auto sear. Additionally, in order for this system to work in full auto, you need a full auto profile carrier. Most AR-15s in America in 2021 do come with this. However, there are still some out there that won't have it. You need to have this ledge right here uh, come to this dimensional spec. If not, some of the older ones or there's still some companies, I believe Ruger doesn't offer the full auto profile and it will be back here. So all of this material will be milled out. The reason they do that is it prevents the tripping of the sear here. So basically when you're firing, as soon as this comes up, if you are in the auto position and it hits that sear, that's what's going to release the hammer to go forward and fire your round. I should also add that there are companies out there that do offer full auto pocket cut lower receivers. There's no additional paperwork needed for them, anything like that. The only time you're gonna need that is when you actually put that third hole in there, which allows the auto sear to be installed. Once you do that, then it is a machine gun. So I think with that, we've covered the basics of the differences between an AR-15 and an M16 or a full auto AR-15. If you guys like this type of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Also check us out over at sei.edu. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing everybody in future videos.